Because the shelving is yes. lower mm -hmm. and it's wider, mm -hmm. so um, we don't have any stock really in the back. All of our stock is right out here. So that's why we keep it in boxes so that we can rotate when we get a new one I've in. Got, I've got a question about you. Is this like a just-in-time inventory kind of concept where it seems like your meats right now are kind of low? Is it because they've sold out from this morning? That's correct. And we get a truck every single day. Okay. Every day we get a truck of fresh. Usually 10 to 15 pellets of fresh, which is produce. And then um, we get ambient maybe three or four times a week, which ambient is all this stuff that does not need to be refrigerated. Mm. So, but yeah, we get fresh every single day. Produce and meat. So you have less employees, and less overhead, so you have the saving costs. That's in. correct. Okay. And that's why we have self-checkouts. We have nine. We still have to have people up there to help, but once they get used to it and they feel comfortable, you know, checking themselves out, it's not a problem. Do you, do you think you have a good mix of, let's say, like a student and a professional type of shopper? I think we do. You know, as far and as that's what we're trying. One thing about this company, about Fresh and Easy, is they totally listen to the customer. Mm. I mean, we have comment cards. Somebody wanted vegan food. I'm telling you, in two days we had vegan food on our shelf. Wow. Really? They want us, please. Now, we don't have like a huge variety. No. You know, like 20 things of one particular item, but that isn't what we're here for. We're like the neighborhood market. So we have, we're close by and we have something that you can use. That's kind of our concept. I gotcha. And, you know, the quality of our food too is how we're making it without the preservatives and how we feed our animals and they're not caged and all that stuff. Well, and who, who's your parent company today? Tesco. Tesco. And Tesco. Mm. Yeah. You guys started over there, right? They are yeah. our owners, actually, and they pay our paycheck. <laughs> and um, they wanted to start a test market in the United States. They're so successful in Europe and they wanted to start here. So um, it's in Southern California, Arizona, and Las Vegas right now. And they just announced last week in Chicago that we're going to start on the East Coast. We have 76 stores now. We have 500 on the book, and the goal is to have one every two miles in a neighborhood. Mm. So is that to have wow. reduced lines or just quick access? Kind of like Star Starbucks, I've heard it's because they want their lines short. Is why they have so many so close, so there's not a long wait. I don't. Well, we started out really fast and furious, and we had a little hiccup along the way, so we stopped. Mm -hmm. And then we regroup, and now we're starting again a, a little slower than we were mm. a little assertive in the beginning. So we don't want to be like Starbucks where we lose it. We, right. um, this company is uh, it's going to be like top dog of all the grocery stores. So, so, in, <laughs> so yeah. in like three I, years? I got a question. Yeah. How do you guys separate yourself from Trader Joe's? Because Trader Joe's is everywhere too. So what's the, how do you differentiate yourself? Well, Trader Joe's is um, also very good. In fact, I shop there for certain things, but um, we have more to offer. We have diapers. We have your shampoos. We, we are more of a one-stop shopping where they're not. They don't have all the items that we have. So, um, Are you the store manager here? I am um, one of the... We have one store manager, and then we have what we call four like assistant managers. Mm -hmm. And we, like, we have two a day. So I was actually the mid today. Sometimes I'm here at 5.30 in the morning unloading semis, and sometimes, like last night, I was here until 1 o'clock in the morning closing the store. So it just depends. I'm all over the board. <laughs> and what's your background? Did you work for another grocery chain? Uh, UPS. Oh, wow. They yeah. hired, um, the store manager hired all of the employees uh, by personality. Mm. And it wasn't about grocery experience because he said that anybody can learn anything. Mm. Do you so think Do you think your fulfillment is your, the thing that drives you guys? Your uh, just how you're receiving your inventory, your loading. I think that everybody that's here is excited that it's a new concept, that it's mm. healthy eating, good food, new company, mm. um, you know, neighborhood kind of thing. I I think. I had my first interview a year ago, mm. and a lot of these people um, have been wanting to work for this company. It's not like, oh, I need a job. Right. There's more passion than that. You uh, can have lower prices than your competitors? We do have actually really low prices. Like, um, just for instance, I can show you a couple of things yeah. just right oh. off the bat. And this is just basic stuff, but 
like this old slice deodorant I know at like uh, oh, drug like, stores and like stuff, it's like four bucks. Okay, so there's an instance. And then also, this is also $4, so mm -hmm. Epsom salt, like for salt baths or muscles. They're it's usually well, like, cheap. that's usually like four bucks. So, I mean, just in those two items alone, our prices are really, really good. Now, we do have a little bit higher, but it's because you're paying for the, like, quality scallops or or lamb chops or something, but they are quality. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pay a little more for that. But the majority of our prices are really, really good. In fact, our customers are like, wow! <laughs> when we first opened, they said, oh, I thought for sure this was going to be, like, organic, expensive. And um, so they're really pleasantly surprised. Um, yeah, and it's, it's a good concept. And we keep growing. We have mm -hmm. customers. We don't, uh, right now, we're ordering, like, sesame seeds and, you know, um, a half a dozen eggs for some of our elderly in the neighborhood. We have college kids. Mm -hmm. And so the kitchen table meals, I don't know if you saw those when you walked in, but right. that is a huge hit. You can hardly mm -hmm. see We can see chocolate. by the shelves, yeah. 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 I'm sorry. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a great store. We have good financial backing, which is why I wanted to work here. Um, for that reason, with the economy, the way it is, everybody's always going to eat. So it's a good, secure job, and um, and they make quality food. I mean, the, the warehouse is one of the largest in the United States, and it's all green, brand new. It's really impressive. Where is your warehouse from here? It's in uh, Riverside County. Okay. And so um, you'll see the fresh and easy trucks on the road more and more. Um, yeah, we get two a day. So we get one fresh and then one with all the other stuff. Okay. We have 25 employees right now. We started out with 20, and we have, actually we have 26, we hired six more, because business is so much better than we thought it would be, like, uh, you know, 40, 50,000 more a week than what we thought, mm. wow. so we're talking some good numbers. Wow, wow. that's great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.